What's good, y'all? It's a beautiful day. We woke up this morning. All oh, praise to the Most High. Yes, sir, man. Let me sip on that water real quick, man. I got a drink to that, man. I'm feeling I'm in a good mood because I just came back from the gym. But yeah, man, self-improvement, dog. If y'all in that space where y'all wondering about starting y'all self-improvement journey, I'm here to tell you, man, start today. Start right now. It's something that I started about three years ago, three, four years ago. Started when I was about 22. I'm like 25, about to be 26. So it's somewhere between the three to four year range but yeah man uh what kickstarted it all is just heartbreak you know what i mean you know what i mean you a woman will be with you you know what i mean say that she loves you for who you are you know what i mean and you don't necessarily look at yourself as needing to improve you attach to her hip that's all you want to do is have time have fun with her yet you always attach to her hip. That's giving her an ick. She don't like that. And it's drying her up. Because you're not improving. You're just staying the same. And you just in her face all day. So that's what Kay started for me. It's because she eventually went and found somebody else. I started messing with somebody else. And I ain't like that. Because I was insecure. Because that person was better than me. You know what I mean? We all know when we look at another man and say, man, he's doing well off in life. He's doing better than me in life. He's more charismatic. People are drawn to him more. I said, man, what can I do to not feel like this? I'm telling you, fellas, if you don't, that feeling is real. I know how y'all feeling. Where your girl goes and she leaves you for somebody that's better and you just feel like your heart is in your shoes. You can't eat, you can't sleep, it's on your mind, man. I know exactly how that feels and I'm here to tell you that you don't gotta feel that way no more. No more. This is the number one way to get over a heartbreak. But this is also the number one way to get out of a depression. Sharpening up your mental health. Uh you not get like you you not getting no action with women, you not getting no action with people, like everybody looks at you like disgust, Every, like everybody just repels from you. I'ma tell you what you gotta do to overcome that. Nobody likes that feeling. I know how y'all feel. I cause I was feeling that way. I was a five foot seven short dude. Nothing stood up stood out about me. Nothing. I was skinny, I was small, I had no confidence in myself. Bro, I remember, bro, and this woman who, who like, me not having confidence in myself, me not being happy of the version of myself that I am, this woman right here, she comes in and she, she takes me for who I am and we have a good time and I'm loving on her and she's loving on me and then eventually, like, as time goes past, she starts acting different and then she starts getting away from you and you trying to figure out, oh, what do I got to do to make it work and you trying harder and you thinking, like, the answer is to be more in her face, doing more things for her that she don't deserve, buying her stuff and then... It's never appreciated. She go to the dude that don't give a damn about her, bro. And you wondering, and you saying you that guy doesn't care about you. I, I you always you out here trying to save her, bro. When she don't want saving, she don't need saving. You need saving, bro. You the one that need help. You investing your time into this woman, investing your time into these things does not bring in no value to your life. If you just staying at home every single day, nothing to do in front of the TV all day, not getting in better shape, not making more money, bro. Like you need to be self-improving, bro. If you want to get rid of that feeling that you have whenever you see around when you get around a man that really, you know what I'm saying, about his business and then your girl start choosing on him. I'm telling y'all, man, you don't, I'm looking at you right now in this camera, bro. I felt what you feeling, and I'm telling you, you don't got to feel that way no more. 
I'm not saying you won't get heartbroken no more. You may get, you may love a chick later and on in the future after you've already self-improved, and it may hurt a little bit more. But it's not going. I'm telling you, it's not going to hurt as bad. Guys, you gotta be. You gotta be on your stuff. You gotta have your stuff together. Step one. Self improvement, man. Get your money right, bro. If you can't go out there and do activities, go out there, have fun, take care of yourself, bro. You are not seen in this world, bro. And I'm a, and I'm an epitome. I'm I, and before I get into the tips, actually, I'm gonna tell you guys, bro. Like I'm still on my self improvement journey, but I've been doing it for three years, and I'm starting to see the results. And I'm telling y'all, bro, it's so worth it, bro. It's so worth it. These tips that I'm finna give y'all, telling y'all what y'all need to do, is you, it's doable and it's simple. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some sacrificing, but it's worth it, bro. Sacrifice two years, three years, four years of work, sacrificing for that little bit of time, for decades and like a quality life for the rest of your days, bro. All it requires is a couple years of work. So, man. Step one, man, your, num your number one thing, bro, you got to have your money in place, in place, bro. You got to be able to go out and do things, bro. These folks is right here in front of my yard, bro. I'm at the house right now. But yeah, man, get your money right. That's the first thing. You can't do nothing. You can't take a woman. You can't court a woman. You can't go out and have fun with your boys. You can't do nothing in this world unless you have your money right. And if you over here pinching to where it's just like you you got to worry about, oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pay for drinks, bro. Get to work, bro. Get to work. Don't say what you're not finna do, bro. Do whatever you got to do to get your money up so you can enjoy your life. Sometimes you may have to you may have to work 60 hours a week. You may have to invest your money into a trade so that you can, like, bro... You got to invest. And it's going to take time. You got to sacrifice. You may not be able to have your weekends. You may you may work your full time Monday through Friday. And then Saturday and Sunday, you probably got to do some more work. You got to probably take the money that you got from that full time. And then on the weekend, invest it to get a class and something. So you can get this side time side. So you can get this side job or get this side gig up and going. Or invest in that money every single weekend or doing the class every single weekend. So that you can replace your full time job so you can make more money. Sometimes it may take six months. Sometimes it may take a year. Shoot, sometimes you may have to go get a degree. Four years at minimum. Four years where you got to say, okay, I can't do nothing right now. I can't court no woman. I can't do none of this until I get myself together. Stand yourself up, man. You never want to be in a position where you out in a you out with a, in a in a setting around a bunch of people and you can't and you out here having a good time, but you can't fuck. I'm about to cuss, bro. You can't even you can't even support yourself, bro. You can't even. You do, you over here saying, oh, I, I can't, I, I can't go. I can only have one drink, or oh, I, I, I can't get this on the menu. I gotta get that on the menu, bro. You can't do that step one, bro. Get the money up. Then once you get the money up, when you start feeling like you good, start investing that money right back into yourself. Invest that money right back into yourself. Your body, you have to have a cold physique. You have the I, you may say, yeah, you don't need muscles to be, you know, seen by women or get girls and stuff like that, bro. If you want your choosing, bro, if you want the ability to have any girl you want, bro, that's what they like. They don't like no dad bod. They'll settle for somebody, but you want to know something? That's the same situation you was in. They settle for you in the state that you were in now. And then they can't, they saw that guy that they really was attracted to. He may have been taller, may have had some muscles. His body came off as protector. I will feel safe around this man. Other men probably would not test him because of how he's built. If you if you fat, out of shape, bro, you can't run. You can only throw probably two punches until you get tired. And if you skinny and small, bro, you can't lift nobody. You can't move nothing out the way. So it comes off as in you can't do nothing. You can't protect the woman. If somebody was to come in and try you or try her, that's what the physique is for. You need to be. You need to look strong. 
You need to look in shape. You need to look like you can do anything. You can climb a rope. You can climb a wall. You can run. You can pick up. You can pick somebody up and run a far distance. You need to be able to do those things, bro, because there may be a situation where you, that will that is what will be required of you. They will look to you to do that. And if you are not prepared, if you get caught with your pants around your ankles, it can be a bad day. It could be a bad day. So that's the first thing. Well, not the first thing, but when you invest in yourself, get into that gym. Do whatever you got to do. Go to the Planet Fitness, $10 a month. Or if you got something that at your at your house or something like that, do something for your legs, do something for your back, do something for your chest. Do compound lifts. You know what I'm saying? At least 30 minutes, probably an hour. Five times a week, bro. Monday through Friday. An hour. That's 4% of your day. An hour working on your physique. 4% of your day investing to make yourself better. It garners respect from men and women. Women are attracted to it. Men are attracted to it. Men will look at you sometimes in envy of how you look. Women will look at you in l with lust in their eyes. Just simply off your body alone, bro. And I do these workout videos either to the gym or just coming back from the gym so I can show y'all, bro, like, I was a small kid, bro, and I'm telling you that it works, bro. It works. Second thing is just maximize, maximize your looks. Hygiene, period, hygiene. People are attracted to somebody that just looks healthy. If you don't, if you have poor hygiene, you don't come off as somebody healthy. You look come off as somebody who is struggling, who is sick, who is going through it. You don't look like you can take care of yourself. You look homeless. Fellas, get a haircut at least twice a month. Every two weeks, every 14 days, every 15 days, you in that chair, you getting a cut at minimum, bro. At minimum. And if you can't get the haircut, if you ain't got to make the move, if you ain't got enough money, work some more. Work some more. So you can put it in that so you can invest in yourself a haircut. So we go into the gym and we get in a haircut. Third thing is, bro, your face needs to be clear. You, you are too old to be walking around with acne. We are not 13, 14, 15 years old no more. You are not you had you did not just hit puberty yesterday. You should know how to take care of your acne by now. You don't need to be walking around with all these bumps and scratches and all that stuff on your face, dog. No cap. You're not 13 no more. Grow up. Being a grown man with a 13-year-old boy face, it don't show that you've been growing. It don't show that you take care of yourself. It sound, it's, it, it seems like you, you got the ability or you got the mindset of a 13-year-old, like a little boy. Take care of your skin. No reason for you to be walking around with pimples and and if you got if you got acne problems and you and you just genetically you got bad skin sometimes you're gonna be put at a disadvantage point blank period who cares you just gotta work harder at it nobody cares nobody's gonna give you an excuse your girl the girl ain't gonna look at you like oh he probably has a skin problem so he's it's harder for him so you know what i mean i'm not i'm not gonna be too hard i'm still gonna choose him anyways no she gonna choose the one who got the clear face bro the one that look like they take care of themselves, bro. Next thing in as far as like hygiene, make sure you smelling good, obviously. Take a shower. Take a shower at least every day. Once a day. Wash your sheets. Do not get in your bed stinking, sweaty, musty, bro. Your bed needs to be clean. Your bed sheets needs to be... The only time you lay in your bed is if you clean, bro. Take a shower before you get in that bed. Take a shower if you feel like you ain't smelling good. Put deodorant on. Wash your genitals. Wash, wash your butt. Use baby wipes. Stop using just toilet paper. Your butt cracks things, dog. Put them baby wipes at work, dog. Some of y'all boys don't be using baby wipes. I don't know how y'all do it, man. I need my junk to be clean, bro. Clean. Use the baby wipes. Hop right in the shower. You hear me? Cologne, bro. 
get you a nice fr- to start off, bro. If you just building out your cologne, bro, get you a nice fresh one, bro. My favorite fresh, I wear it every day. Going to work, you to the gym. Every my my go to every day just it smells fresh. Luna Prada Ross, bro. Prada, Luna Ross. Uh, yeah, that gray bottle with the red stripe, bro. Fresh. Get that. Two, three squirts. Right here, right here. One right here. Put it together. That's it. Or you go one, two, three. Back of the neck. No more than four. One, two, three, four. That's it. At least two. One, two. No more than four. Yeah, man. If you do all that, the results is going to come. They gonna come. You just gotta repeat that day in and day out. And I'm telling, oh yeah, how can I forget? Teeth. Teeth can't be crooked, bro. If you don't got if you don't got the money to fix it, get to work. See rule number one. Step one, resort resort back to step one. Get your money up. So you can invest in yourself. They not gonna give you a pass. Yeah, you working hard, but your teeth ain't good, so, but I know you're still working hard. I'm still, be, nope. The ones they're going to choose is the one with the nice teeth, bro, with a nice smile. Teeth got to be straight. Teeth got to be white. Period. Point blank. Breath can't be smelling like dookie. Get that tongue scraper. Floss. Get that food that's about your teeth. That's been sitting in your teeth probably for a couple of days, and you don't know why your mouth smelling like that, but I'm going to tell you because you ain't hit that floss in a minute. And that food back in there just rotting. Especially all the way back there. You know what I'm talking about. Floss every night. Before you go to bed. Brush your teeth twice. Two times. Do that man. You'll start to improve. You'll start to look better. You'll start to feel better about yourself. Your confidence will start to rise. And people will be drawn to you. You'll start catching people's eyes. If you want to fit in with everybody else, don't listen to what I'm saying. But if you want to stick out and you want to get results that nobody else really don't get, do what I'm telling you, bro. I'm a living example, bro. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm coming from where y'all came from. I'm coming from how I was feeling about my girl when she left me at that time. I said, I don't want to feel like that no more. And I put my head down and I got to work. And you want to know what's funny? I once you Once you start getting the results... They'll start hitting you back up. Literally, just last night. She saw what you looked like before. She see that you got better. She seen that you grown. They always will come back. But at that point, you can have your choosings. I mean, shoot. I wouldn't mess with them. You'll be having more. Coming through the door. New experience. They had you, They had their chance with you. You let them slide. You know what I mean? It's up to you, man. It's simple. Just do them steps. Day in, day out. For a year. Two years, three years, and you'll start to see the progress, and you'll start to see everything I'm telling y'all. How what I'm experiencing, you're gonna start experiencing, bro. You're gonna be a cold dude, bro. Keep on grinding, keep grinding. Like and share the video, man. I'll holla at y'all, boys, man.